Oh, forgot to test. Forgot to test. But it's okay, because the widget is working, which is a good thing. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. We are going to be water marbling today, just as soon as I uh, do the usual little announcement things, and then we're also going to be uh, peeling off already. <laughs> That's the one, it's the hardest part of 12 Days of Christmas, and the reason I really... And I, I feel like this year would have been the year that I got an early start if it wasn't for the issues that I ended up having with my camera, with my with my old camera, and um, really wanting to wait for my for my new camera before doing the series. But it's it's past. We're moving forward at a rapid pace. Mm, what it, actually? What did I say? Um, yeah, discard. What is what is my title here? My my tweet should maybe match my title. Yeah, we'll do that. Something similar. Okay. I keep saying snow covered but really it'll probably be snowy because I think I ended up going with snowy branches instead of snow covered branches oh well that's a minor detail very minor detail let's uh let's get the discord message popped up there and then I think we can get going here um do 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 where are you discord here we go um, announcements. Oh, there's new stuff in here. Uh. Oh, hold on just a second. I'm streaming. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Thank you, Ash. <laughs> I thought I hit the button again. And, uh, apparently I did not. Thank you, thank you. I should be a little bit more aware of that, but, you know, noob streamer. Aw. The pie hug. What an adorable little... Is it like a duck? I mean, it's a very bulbous character but it, it brings to mind duck for me so these are the colors that we're going to be working with which are the colors that we're already wearing except we're going to be doing a water marble first things first though um i do need to take off my current manicure and i do want to record the peel because if i have time because of course I haven't given myself enough shit to do. I kind of would, I, I mentioned before I had this idea for a year in Peely's type of a thing. And uh, I, I kind of think I would like to do that, but it, that's a huge project. So I, I really don't know if I'll get it done. Maybe, you know, maybe I can just give myself the goal of not by the end of the year, but maybe by the end of January. Because, I mean, your interviews don't have to be by the end of the year, right? They can be at the beginning 
of a new year. Um, let's see here. Get an orange stick. Grab a napkin for background. So when I'm doing a peel, like taking it off this soon is actually a little bit more difficult than after a couple days of wear. Because like after you've worn it for a couple days, it tends to just from, you know, normal water exposure and stuff, it tends to get oh we've got we've got sunbeams today you guys that's I don't know that's always for some reason super entertaining to me because the ring light seems so bright but the sun is like you're not that bright um you know showering washing your hands that type of stuff the water just starts getting in around all the edges and sometimes you'll feel a little catchy spot or um you know in some cases even lose a peely when I'm taking it off, like, just a day or two after applying it, I mean, it's still, there, there's no, there's nothing wrong with this manicure. There's, there's literally nothing wrong with this manicure. I've had it off for less than 24 hours. I'm a little bit sad, but we will have the peelies to remember it by. So I'm going to use some of my, uh, cuticle oil and I'm just going to just like, I just use it in here. I just like dab out some and then like rub it all around the cuticle area. You can also like squeeze it directly onto the cuticle, of course, or they have like smaller. This this is like the industrial sized. How big is this? Um, does that say four ounces or two ounces? It's the label's kind of. I don't know. It's more than half gone, so the label's kind of weird. But you can see you know, how, how big it is. They sell a smaller little bottle, but anybody got time for that? So I'm just rubbing it in really good around my cuticles and around the edges of the, uh, of the polish to hopefully actually encourage the, uh, the peel off to start lifting a little bit. Cause otherwise the hardest part is if you just can't get a good peel. Well, the hardest part. <laughs> Okay, this this should not be up here. You should be on here. Yeah, Beanie's real tuckered out because he had his energy at about the time I was trying to sleep in today. I've been kind of tired. And yesterday I had to get up early for a meeting. And, you know, this whole week it's been like different various things. And I thought, man, today I can finally sleep in. No, Beanie refused to let it happen. So... Like, I like the recording, of course, to be nice and um, quick, aesthetically pleasing, not sitting there struggling with it. So usually before I record, I'll go around each nail and just find where the lip is. Okay, I don't think that's something. Th this is apparently going to be a theme, you guys. Hi, Victoria. Hi, yo. Um... <laughs> Okay, I thought there might be one more ring. I've mentioned to you guys before, my phone does not just have a mute button. Maybe I should put it in uh, phone jail under the cat blankets, but like usually it's not a problem. And yesterday's stream, I swear there were like half a dozen freaking phone calls. God, this is really, this is a good manicure. I don't have like any little edges. There, there we go. So before I get started recording, I'll just find like a little edge and get my little, get my little in there so that when I'm recording, I don't have to be sitting there searching. Oh, this one is going to be tough because, okay, guys, remember, I, hi, it's, it's a little bit sunny. Um, you remember I said I broke off the tip of this pinky and I patched it. Well, last night I looked down and it, I'm like feeling a little catchy spot and I look, the whole freaking patch had failed but the nail polish on top was what was holding it together. So I actually like stuck some more gel in there from the underside, but I may have gelled the polish actually to the nail. So I had kind of forgotten about that. I wonder how this will come off of this pinky. There we go. See, in this case, I was able to find a little bit of it in here. So I'm just going around to my nails and, uh, finding that little spot and then we're gonna peel god this is such a shame i bet this would have worn really well because 
Like sometimes you can just tell, like sometimes there will already be a little catchy spot or a little lifty spot that you just can tell is going to be a problem area. And in this case, there's really not. <clears throat> and I'm hoping, I'm hoping this water marble goes smoothly. It's a little cooler in my room than it was when I was doing the testing. I turned on my space heater, so it's, it's warming up a little bit, but like water marbling in the winter always makes me a little bit nervous because I mean, it just, it, it's more, uh, persnickety than in the summer when it's like really nice and warm. Some of these nails, there's just like no, like on my, on my uh, ring finger here, there's like no, nowhere that wants to peel. See, this is, this is like something, of course, it's a manicure that I'm only wearing for a day that is like on here so freaking good. There we go. So I'm sorry that I'm not on camera, but it's kind of like, like usually, like the, the peel off base coat is not super long wearing ash. It's not. And I mean, I do that on purpose because I usually, it's pretty rare for me to wear a manicure longer than three or four days. Um, but sometimes I've had, I mean, I've had the peel off base coat last like a really long time, but Like, what is this? It's a blast from the past. That's hilarious, yo. I've had that happen though. It's like, oh man, that peely's gone forever. No, it's not. You'll find it. You'll reach in a pocket or you'll look in the bottom of your purse and all of a sudden you done found your long lost peely. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, I'm still getting used to my new camera. I like it. I'm, I'm going to, in fact, I need to remember to after stream. See, one of the one of the things I don't like, and, and maybe it's a little bit nitpicky and I'll probably get used to it, is there's like a couple dials on the top. I wish the larger dial was the zoom lever instead of the selector dial. But it might just be because that's closer to where it was on my other one. But like to reach it with my with my right hand is kind of awkward. So I'm left with either doing it left-handed or with being awkward. Why are you not? Sorry. I'm just trying to get this actually where I want it to. Okay. And because the, uh, the hot shoe thing I have it attached with is it's, it's trying real hard, but this camera's too heavy for it. Um, it's like, sometimes it's hard to get it exactly where I want it. Cause I'll get it and then it'll sag. Not like drastically, but like when you're zoomed in this close, obviously it's noticeable. So, you know, they do kind of look like ribbons. I was going for, they were supposed to be snow covered branches, Safiroko, and hello and welcome. And we did these yesterday and we're taking them off now. And I, I think I have to, okay. Let's, uh, let, let's do that. <laughs> I won't be blinded. Ribbons would be fun to do too. I've thought, I've thought about doing a manicure with actual like curling ribbon, like for wrapping gifts. And then I was like, you know what? This is ridiculous <laughs> because it's, it's more of like a, it's not like a serious manicure. It's not like something you can just wear for several days. And, you know, most of the time, as crazy as my manicures do get, I mean, I, I want to be able to wear them. I'm not just doing them. Well, in this case, I almost am just doing them for a tutorial. But I've got beanie hair on my lip, you guys. I'm, I feel like super self-conscious, like picking my mouth. But... Pff, pff. Thanks, Bean. He's like, I don't care. Look how cute I am. <laughs> he, uh, he, I think he really does love his little scarf because it's 
super loose enough that he could take it off if he wanted to. I think he likes feeling warm and snuggly in the in the winter. Okay, so let's do this peel. And I looked in my uh Oh, you know what? I should have checked. Does that does that reset or does that Okay, that's okay. I looked in my book and I could not find a way to put the record button as one of the on-screen buttons. So maybe just eventually. I mean, it's not like I want the button to be loose. I just wish it wasn't quite as tight as it is right now. Okay. Yes. I don't know. That's not very good porn music. Is there such a thing? <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh while I'm doing this. It makes the, it makes the mount wiggle. Yeah, see, this is, oh, fuck, the whole nail came off. Oh! Mm! Rage. A little bit, a little bit of rage. A little, little bit of rage. Oh. You guys, I shouldn't have been so rough with it. We'll have to consider. Um, basically, the consideration is, do we want to mess around with repairing it again? Um, or do we just want to have a super short pinky nail for the duration of the series? I guess it's not super short. Per perhaps that's a tad dramatic. This is not too bad appeal porn though. Once I actually found the little lips or made the little lips so that I could get in there and I mean it's kind of stubborn. It's it's like some peels once you go for it it's just like ping like it it almost like pops off your nail it's it's so ready to come off and this is like I'll come off but I really could have stayed here a while longer some of these I mean they're not very pretty peels but I mean they are coming off pretty good See, like that one, that one was pretty ready to come off. This thumb too is pretty easy. <sighs> God dang it. So, which one was it? This one. <laughs> let's, let's see here. <laughs> We'll put those away later in the peely bag. <laughs> oh, got to get back to work. Well, thank you for popping in, Safiroko. We've got a uh, at the tip here. We've got the little tip of my pinky nail. So <laughs> I don't know. Should I try to dislodge it from the peely and? I, I don't think I have the heart for it. For reattaching it again. For a third repair in like two days. And I don't think this really wants to come off of here either. It's going to be the only peely in my peely bag with a nail still attached to it. Mm. Okay. Okay. So. Of course, like peel off base coat. There'll be some little bits and things left over. Give it a little bit more extra tension with orange stick, but then I am gonna hit it up with some actual polish remover. Oh, we've got some sticky, some, some actual ready for takeoff residue left there. 
<clears throat> Cotton polish remover. And I probably could buy a polish remover like by the gallon, at least like acetone and stuff. I usually just get it, you know, like at Target or whatever. <clears throat> I won't say all are created equal, but they're pretty similar. Don't buy it at the dollar store. My mom tried to be cheap and buy some at the dollar store one time and she was like, it just didn't work. I was just, it was like putting water on my nails. Oh, I'm I'm so disappointed in myself. The the thing when a patch fails is not just the frustration that the patch failed; it's the time you wasted patching in the first place. Like if it was just recently, and I mean, tch, whatever, whatever. That's minor. That's that's super minor. It's not a low break, and. uh it's just on the pinky. So I don't think it'll probably be that noticeable once I uh, once I file it down. So let's get my file out here in just a sec. What? I think that is Clark barking if that is being picked up by the microphone and I can't. I got like a little <laughs> left in my window. I almost, I think it's almost safe to actually open it again. The sun is almost past the point where it will be coming like directly in the window. Um, sometimes wrapping your tips can get messy. So I always, you know, give some attention on the underside of the nail too, if it's needed. And then too, and I don't feel, I don't feel like I have time to sit here and, well, we'll see. Since, since I had patched it, I mean, there's like uh, gel residue left on, on the nub. So, let's see here. Um, let me get a little bit of acetone. And Q-tip, because I want to finish doing the undersides of these nails a little quicker. Acetone is always going to be your faster bet. I mean, I, d I do still have regular polish remover, but sometimes I get impatient with it really quickly. And sometimes it's easier to get in here with a Q-tip too than it is to like try and fold a cotton ball to get in there nicely. Oops. <laughs> this, this twist just like sprang to freedom out of the <laughs> out of the little ponytail well it's not quite a ponytail but the pulled back section <clears throat> okay so let's see if we can just whoo ping don't do this by the way it's rough on your nails and it's horrible I'm uh I'm just scraping off some of the gel. Also because I think my gel is getting old. That's part of the reason I think the patch failed a couple times in the first place. I think my gel is getting old. And one of the signs of that is when it kind of starts to chip off. And of course, usually I'm trying to avoid that. But in a case like this, I can kind of take a little bit of advantage of it. And we'll file down the rest. So, are we, yeah, it's on camera ish. Am I just like, yeah, I am like shaking everything because I'm leaning on the desk? Cause that's a little bit better. still a little bit lopsided and I'll, I'll sometimes like 
because sometimes just like looking at it it's like uh, a little bit of a darker background and uh you can kind of see better like what side needs to be evened out a little bit more and conveniently most glass nail files have a little colored bit at the end of the handle and this I like this one because it has this little point too I can get in there on the underside of the nail there's just like one more little there we go okay we have a short pinky nail now still a little bit of gel on top of the nail that's okay um actually let's not put that away naked put it inside of its case okay so these couple other problem areas this this patch looks like it's on its way to failing again I can hear it's, it's got like a little catchy spot it's not coming apart yet I'm so sick of dealing with it already I wish it would just like a, in a week or two if I can just hold on to it that long it should be okay because like this one now that it's out past that very you know right next to the free edge area is doing so much better we've still got some some little glittery bits around our cuticles let's do just a quick cuticle pushback also get rid of those little glittery bits I think those are possibly even just left over from the cleanup And you don't want, I mean, even though we're using the same colors, eventually we're going to move into other nail art. And you don't want, like, residue left over, especially if you got, like, red or black. And that has a tendency to get down in your cuticles. And then do, like, a white manicure and you've still got, like, red and black cuticles. Like, not a cute look. So, and I know this makes some people cringe and I apologize, I guess, if you're one of those people. Um, where are you going, Bane? To look out the window. Because it's still open on the far side, especially for his spoiled butt. Because I love him, even though he didn't let me sleep in this morning. And it's so weird because usually, like most mornings, Beanie is just a cuddler. Beanie just like wants to curl up in bed I wake up and he's burrowed his way under the covers and is just like in the crook of my arm and this morning I woke up and he was jumping all over the room and stepping on me and trying to go in the closet and stepping on like paper bags and rustling things <sighs> and he just would not like uh what is what is the what is the what do the kids say nowadays uh, no chill Benny had no chill this morning. Okay. So, um, one of the things I'm really going to try to do, because I'm doing my nails so, so often, they're getting even more exposure than normal to polish remover and stuff, is to make sure they stay, like, hydrated and taken care of. See, this is another sign this patch could fail. That's like the edge of the silk wrap peeking out there. I need to... Uh take care of that just briefly see that little, that little white spot that's like the edge of the silk wrap popping out see if I can just file this just a tiny bit so what I'm gonna go do is do a quick uh, scrub with my Zoya scrub because I feel like it hydrates my cuticles really nicely um, and take a bathroom break because I was dumb and didn't take a bathroom break before I started streaming um because I was late and I was just like get on the stream and then when we come back we will get started on the water marble um where'd it go here we go we we didn't have to do very many tests with these they all turned out pretty dang pretty dang good um I'm pretty much leaning toward this one which and probably the lighter side of it because you can kind of see there at that angle you can really see 
this half of the swatch has this dark base and then this other half of the swatch has Janessa as the base. The only difference between these two is that the colors were dripped opposite order. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on. Just a minute here. Let me find you guys the music so that you're not waiting in, in silence while I'm gone. And um, I do apologize for taking a break quite so early, but it was somewhat planned. I didn't like fully, fully think it through, but it was somewhat planned. So, um, whoa, no, no, stop, 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 pause. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Um, so it's 2.48. I'm gonna give myself like seven-ish minutes. Well, yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna say 2.55. I'll be back. I'll try to be back. Yeah, yo, I, well, I'm, and I'm not even sure what it is about it that is better than the others, but I like it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the others. Somebody else might be like, no, no, do the other one. But, oh, that's like, over the it's over the water marble there we go gotta gotta arrange these things there i will return very shortly
party. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry for being tardy. Okay, so. Um, 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 um. Okay. I have water. I'm did I did I mention that I'm nervous about it not being warm enough? <sighs> okay. Should we start a new orange stick for 12 days of Christmas? A shiny clean new orange stick? At one point, a couple years ago, I bought a pack of like a hundred or some shit on uh, Amazon. So, when I start a new one, particularly for water marbling, I like to sharpen it a little bit. Because like usually, I mean, they come to a point, but it's a slightly blunted point. So I'll just take one of my buffers and start a little rolling it a little bit because the finer the point is the better for water marbling I mean a lot of people use needles it's actually one of the reasons I haven't been super keen to get one of the water marble tools because I feel like they're not as sharp as I can make an orange stick so why is it supposed to be better so now I know it's a little bit hard to tell on here, but like now this is like poke your eye out sharp. Sometimes I'll uh, give the other end a little bit of attention too, because I do sometimes use that end just to make sure it's not like weird, jagged, rough, anything like that. I mean, orange sticks are cheap, but they're they're damn near disposable. I mean, that I, I don't... I don't usually get rid of orange sticks. They like graduate to different levels of orange stick use. Like the one I use in my peel videos, you notice doesn't have nail polish all over it. That is like kind of reserved for those videos. It's clean, but I don't want to use it for water marbling because it's oily. Cause you know, we oil right before we peel. Um, you know, some are you know, new for water marbling. Some are like damn near destroyed from like just polish and polish and layers of polish. And it's like, well, that doesn't really need to be on camera anymore. Um, let's grab another paper towel here. So maybe that's res reserved for just like testing things. Um, okay. So don't roll away. Go over here. When we were doing the testing, we were going to use all five colors that uh, were on the branches. In fact, what is the best branch peely out of these? Probably this thumb. Yeah. I'm going to keep that handy. We might, we might feature that at the end of this video. Um, Harley did not play nicely with the other polishes for whatever reason. So Harley got taken out. The other four, somehow you, you don't notice that Harley is missing in this compared to, like I definitely feel that it adds to the gradient, but you don't miss it in the water marble. So, <clears throat> excuse me. clear my throat again just like yesterday it's still kind of hoarse um and i think i'm gonna be doing the combination tape and simply peel like i did before so that's kind of what i'm leaning toward yeah yeah i think so I'm a little bit nervous, not just because of the temperature. I feel like I've said I'm nervous like three times, but um, 
also because I don't I don't know I I really I know a lot of people look forward to the 12 days of Christmas and so I guess I kind of feel a lot of pressure to like do it good and again my computer is doing this very loud thing where it's like checking <sighs> why do you do this every day computer oh well Hopefully that is not, I think I asked before because it seems so loud to me and people said they couldn't even hear it. So I need to not be stressing out over it. There's enough things to worry about. Like uh, working with my new camera. Okay, let's uh, get you guys in a notch closer. Maybe two notches. That's pretty good. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> you, okay. I, I think I've just identified one of the stress points. As always. Oh, thank you, yo. I, I, I think I have identified one of the stress points, though. I'm recording a second tutorial on this new camera before I have done any editing or anything of the first tutorial. I, I think that's part of it. It's like I so a part of me is like, what if what if I'm I'm doing it the same way I did the first one? What if that way is the wrong way? See, I try to like j just being sitting and being uncomfortable isn't super productive. Not that it's not valid. It could be perfectly valid, but if you don't even understand what you're uncomfortable uncomfortable about, you can't do anything about it. So now that I've realized that I actually feel a little bit less uncomfortable because in fact I need to record this I'm going to record this and while I haven't like edited it I've looked at it enough to see that I mean there's something usable there so I did review some of it I actually I did have to retake a couple of the hand shots but it should be fine it'll be fine if it's not fine, it's not the end. Is that the quote? <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Man. See, actually, when I look at the, I don't know, what is the little thingy called? It does show that my mic is somewhat picking it up, but maybe it's picking it up on a, like, almost sub-audible level. <laughs> yeah, that actually, <laughs> that is actually so true, though, yo. That's, like, kind of my own advice. Like, look, it's just nail polish. Like, it's, it's just nail polish. Oh, I think sometimes too, like when you're stressed about other things, which I am, it's, e it's, it's almost easier to just freak out about everything. Like your body has primed itself to be stressed and freaked out. And so if it's something that normally you would know is completely minor and is completely deal withable, if you're already stressed, it's like, oh no, like, oh, and it's, it's not, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully all things will be fine. But, oh dang it. My my eyeball is getting pierced by sun again. It's peeking in through the little tiny... Little tiny gap in my window. I mean, I don't want to, like, say go away sun because it's been days since the sun has been out. And it's wonderful to see it. And I wish I could like really appreciate it except I have no intention of going outside because the sun is a lie it's cold out I can do a little bit of winter if it's not super cold but otherwise I'm really not about it and I see a little twist hanging in my peripheral vision that apparently popped out of the thing again like <laughs> oh 
Oh. I'm glad I put them in, though. I almost didn't, and then I was like, look, just do it. 12 days of Christmas is hectic. You do not need to want to have to worry about your hair at all. Plus, it's nice and protective with all this cold, crappy weather. All right, we'll let these just give a minute. I'm second guessing myself now and using the t combination tape and latex. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I shouldn't second guess myself. It it did work well. <clears throat> Cloudy and dreary. Yeah, that's how it has been well in periods of snow here in Minnesota too. Oh, I'm still recording. Shit, stop. Stop recording. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if I could see now my old camera I know I could just like trim off the whole end of that like oops it wasn't supposed to be that long it, I mean it's fine cause there's I mean the, the memory card's like freaking 32 gigs so I should be able to get like 3 tutorials on a memory card even with mistakes like that um and it was that that was one of the things I really liked about the the set that I got is that it came with the memory card and it came with the case for both of the cameras. My very, very first digital camera came with a memory card. Imagine that. It was a tiny, danky piece of shit memory card, mind you, but it came with a memory card. Now that's like a thing of the past. It was like I was having to double check the descriptions just to confirm that they came with their own battery and you didn't have to like piecemeal buy the battery separate. <laughs> the battery is on a on a side note one of the bonuses of the two cameras that I got they actually have the same battery so since I'm rarely going to be using them at the same time it's like having a backup battery <clears throat> without having to buy an extra one and especially like the Canon branded ones I don't know why the batteries are so dang expensive especially when you can buy perfectly fine ones that just happened not to be Canon brand on Amazon for like a quarter of the price. Okay. I think we're about good to go here. <clears throat> so, uh, Troy Lotus. Was I calling that thing Iris the other day? I'm gonna have to really be mindful when I edit this tutorial. I'm I'm pretty sure that I said it correctly at least the first time. Th there's a part of me that wants to like stop right now and go check, but I'm not going to. Lotus, 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 lotus. I mean, they're both flowers, but that's it. <clears throat> I was like. I like going through the colors. I like telling people what I'm using instead of just being like, oh, it's a white and some purples and whatever. So I always try to check and know what words are going to be coming out of my mouth so I'm not struggling with a pronunciation while I'm recording, although that doesn't always prevent me from struggling with pronunciation. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's do this part. <clears throat> Focus, please. Mm. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it takes it a minute to focus, but once it's focused, it really, it looks good. I, I hope it looks as good um, after editing. <clears throat> I hope my editor can handle it. <clears throat> The polishes that we're going to be using today are from Zoya. You'll recognize them from yesterday's design. We have J J Blah. I also, perhaps anally, like facing the bottle's name forward. So let's try that again. <clears throat> The polishes that we're using today are from Zoya. 
you'll recognize them from yesterday's snowy branches. The white is Janessa. That will also be my base color. The lavender is Julie. The darker purple is Lotus. And the metallic purple is Troy. That, that felt really clumsy. I'm not pleased with that. I need to get my head in the game. I feel like I'm just like a little bit spastic today. Maybe I will take a nap after I stream. That feels like it would be super indulgent and super a great idea. I'm gonna do it. I probably won't. <laughs> okay. Let's do this properly this time. <clears throat> The polishes that I'm going to be using today are from Zoya. You'll recognize them from yesterday's snowy branches if you saw that tutorial. The white is Janessa. The lavender is Julie. The darker purple is Lotus. And then the metallic purple is Troy. I'll be using Janessa as my base color. I need to just like allow them to set flat on the paper towel instead of like trying to hold them cute and angled because then I just run out of fingers to hold them. Yeah, so the, re the reason I am a little bit nervous about the editing is that the editor that I use is like a totally cheap, free, in fact, and super old editor. <laughs> I use a Windows Movie Maker, and I've been very happy with it, but like, I, I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it's designed to handle 1080, 60. I feel like my ring finger and my pinky need just a tiny bit more, like in the middle. I'm not going to do a full second coat, we're just going to kind of get in there a little bit like that. It doesn't have to be fully even, but I, it, it, it's another one of those things I can't like be like, it, it, I feel like I'm contradictory sometimes. You want it to be mostly opaque, but it doesn't have to be even. Like, if it's too sheer, you definitely are going to notice um, after you water marble, and you'll probably wish that you did a second coat. But, like, in this case, just that little bit of extra, I think, should do the trick. And, of course, you don't have to do a base color, but I always recommend it. Consider that water marbling is basically one usually quite thin coat of polish on your nails. And most polishes need a couple coats to be nice and opaque. <clears throat> These afternoon streams are kind of, kind of chill and relaxed. I am thinking of maybe getting some background music because I'm not always like I don't know this this is probably like what the time slot would be once I start swatching out my collection there there would I would try to I would want to try and do some evening stuff too so that people who can't make the afternoons are not like uh, left out but I feel a little bit more, what do I want to say? If I think I'm streaming in the evening, a lot of times I have a tendency to just blow it off over the course of the day. Whereas if I plan to stream in the afternoon, I mean, this is kind of, it, it, I'm not a super morning person, so this is much closer to the start of my day and it just feels easier to, excuse me, like slot it into my schedule. So... I think 
I, I was just telling myself not to not to doubt myself, but I'm still doubting myself on using both Simply Peel and tape. I feel like the neck of this is dirty again. Ah, there's a little crumble. Where is there? Get out of there. Get out of there. And I need to remember to refill this after today. Oh, camera. You're you're saving your battery. Okay, let's get some polish remover out. More. I had a little bit out before. We've got my little dirty wasabi dish or whatever the hell this is. You can you can certainly have a smaller container, but I like to be able to clean off the orange stick pretty well when I'm water marbling and anything small like you're not going to be able to get very much of it in there because you're going to get it dirty you know up a considerable way so I like my little square container um pot pies that sounds so cozy that sounds so cozy and I love I love having like twitch on when I'm cooking like a lot of, I, that's part of the reason I get so frustrated with the mobile app is because I really like it when it works properly and some days it just won't work properly for me I should just like haul my little my Chromebook down to the kitchen with me <clears throat> but yeah I, uh, I I feel like Twitch is better company than like TV is in the background for me some people may you know like TV better but there's generally less commercials I mean there, there may be some commercials but not every five ten minutes and you're not getting repeats unless you're watching VODs and they're real people and if you have like something you want to say or you know throw your two cents in you it's interactive I like I don't know like I feel like a lot of people I was one of those people not that long ago like don't get twitch like what is this twitch thing why would you want to watch somebody else do X, Y, Z, whatever you're watching? Video games, nails, makeup, music, pottery, like whatever. It's like, you if you watch TV, you're already watching people doing other things. Why not watch it live where you could actually talk to them? <clears throat> but you don't have to talk to them. That's the great part. You can sit and hang out quietly completely lurk yeah oh you have an island that's so nice our kitchen is um, I think they call it like galley style so it's just like long and it's got counters on either side well of course like oven and sink etc so yeah there's not really a plot to keep up with it's it's super casual entertainment usually play YouTube videos of the stream on Apple TV while you do stuff around the house. Cool. And hello, CJS, by the way. I don't think... If I said hello to you already, I forgot. Moon, you didn't get a Twitch notification. What about Discord, Moon? What about Twitter? <laughs> Hi, Moon. How are you? We are, we are just about, well, not quite. We're almost to get to the good stuff. You had to check Discord. I, I have to remind myself to check Discord because I'm like, oh, I didn't get a notification. It's like, you you don't even expect to get a Twitch notification. So why are you actually mad? You need to just be more aware of your Discord. Because like, I don't, I, I do get some Discord notifications on my phone, but my phone is silent. My phone is always silent. I don't want it like beeping at me and like interrupting me, you know? But then sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I'd seen this notification. <laughs> and then I feel like an idiot. I'm like, well, it's your own fault. My tea is almost gone. We're, we're doing the combination, you guys. We are. And we've got a new roll of tape. It's an exciting moment, you guys. <laughs> Last time when I tried this. Oh, dang it. The tape was on that little last wrap round where it's so hard to pull it. It's like, <laughs> it's 
So today we are starting a brand fresh roll of tape. <clears throat> All right. Okay, camera. Work with me here. <clears throat> I feel a burp coming. I don't want to burp in the middle of the scene. <clears throat> well, maybe not. We'll see. There may there may be a burp here. <clears throat> Hello. Come on. Focus. Good boy. Good boy, G7. <laughs> <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be protecting around my nails. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Nails. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Today I'm going to be protecting around my nails with a combination of tape and Simply Peel. Sometimes a Simply Peel will stick your fingers together, and I've been really annoyed with that in the past. So I thought I'd give this a try a while ago, and it worked pretty good. So I'm going to go around the sides with tape, the old fashioned way, you might say, and then around the cuticle where it's curved I'm going to just bridge that gap with the simply peel and if it overlaps onto the tape a little bit that's perfectly fine you can just go neatly around there and you kind of get the best of both worlds your fingers won't stick together like with simply peel but your finger can still bend freely unlike if you use tape at the base of your cuticle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that for all my nails. And I think that actually came across as like a explanation that made sense. There's some other things that are a little bit nicer too like sometimes simply peel can be tricky to get off without like uh, either cutting it or like coming really close to damaging your, your manicure. Let's uh, yes, they are twists. Moon. That was Monday's project so that I didn't have to worry about my hair during 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, they're, uh... Wait, let me finish this one more. Nail, oops. computer is still so loud. All right. All right, we're going to remember to stop recording this time. So yeah, they're like <laughs> here in the little bar of sunlight, they're like little thick twists. Stick this one back in here. <clears throat> Okay, just doing my thumb quickly here. And then we should only need a minute for the Simply Peel to dry. I think this, this design, I think probably, oops, let's, probably will be three dips per hand. I think we should be able to do like the two sides of the flower. So like each half of this is one nail, dip them in side by side. And what direction are we going? So metallic and then the purple and then the lavender and then the white. How many? One, two, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 drops. Okay. 
So that's like two and a half uh, rounds of the color. Beanie, how how come you how come you over there, Beanie? By the way, why don't you come over here on your chair? Say hi to everybody. Mm, thank you, Moon. Yeah, they're nice, and since they're like thicker than the than the fake dreads were, it didn't take as long to uh to install them. So that was kind of nice. Oh, oh, it's the sun again. Ping right in my eyeball. What? T oh, it's only three thirty. I feel like it's like four something, and I'm like, why is it still so light outside? It's because it's not as late as I think it is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. I probably could have applied this a little bit thinner. It's kind of, kind of glommed on there. Can start getting these open though. And I think all these are full enough that it shouldn't be a problem. Like the only reason I worry about a bottle being full when water marbling is for the size of the drip that you can easily get on the brush. Like I try to kind of make sure the brush gets really down in there, fully coated. And then like, like when you wipe a brush, if you go quickly, it kind of pushes everything from one side of the brush to the other side of the brush before it actually runs down like the inside of the neck of the bottle. So what you want to do is kind of do that motion, but then before it runs down, get that drip to drip it into the cup. And that's how you get a big fat water marble drip. I know. Ping, ping. <laughs> it was even like on the, on the paper towel. I'd closed my window, but then it, it moved because the sun does that. I guess if I stay back here, it's fine, but I'm probably gonna, gonna need to move it. Well, like I don't, I like, I need, I need some sun. So if I don't, of course, if I'm looking down here, it, maybe it will be fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was the burp. It didn't make it on film, but it made it live. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for being nasty. All right. <clears throat> I need to see too. Last year, and I think maybe the year before, uh, I think I used Jingle Bells for my my speed up music and all my holiday, all my holiday uh, manicures, but. I can't, it would be really cool if I could find <clears throat> I wonder if Kevin McLeod has a Winter Wonderland on his on his site in a Creative Commons version because that would fit that would fit the the Winter Water Marble Wonderland theme Winter Water Marble Wonderland okay got it out of my system <laughs> I think we can get going all right, power. <laughs> what moon? What is? Oh, what's these? I see. Okay, camera. Let's. Let's carefully adjust you. <sighs> With the tape on my fingers, slightly more challenging. <clears throat> okay, I think we need just a slight, like that much. Is that good? That should be good. Whoa. <laughs> it's those nerves I was talking about. I need to just stop what I'm doing immediately. Um. Well, 
Wait a minute. Oh. This way. Unless I want to switch them. Do I want to switch them? I'm just... I, I didn't make myself any notes, so I'm just figuring out what order I'm supposed to be dipping these in. Wait, no, it is this way. It, okay, okay. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, you're, you guys can't see. You guys, you guys... There we go. Sorry you can't be more centered. You're well that's actually that's not too bad. <clears throat> Here we go. Those fucking squirrels. <clears throat> As usual when water marbling, I'm working in a five, what the, my stems aren't loose. I mean, I unscrewed them, but sometimes they get sticky. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> As usual for water marbling, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And I'm going to be adding a total of 10 drops. All right, can we anchor, please? Oh, why are you breaking? What? Do me like that, water marble. I should have cleaned the surface before I started. Even when you have clean water and a clean cup, just clean the surface and save yourself some trouble. <laughs> this is why people hate water marbling. <laughs> Hi, Caters. That was so sad. Uh, it was my fault though. I I thought earlier I was like, don't forget to clean off this water, even though it's fresh water. Okay, get out of there. Come on. Let's uh, clean off the surface, real nice. Because that's gross now. This is what happens. If you see this, it means your your water's dirty. If you are getting amoebas instead of circles. Whoops. Now your surface is clear. Now we can try again. <clears throat> As usual for a water marble, I'm starting out with a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And I'm going to be adding a total of 10 drops. That's a lot better. I mean, you can see how evenly it's sitting because that first drop spread properly. I should I should never have kept going with the first one.
Once your bullseye is complete, you can start to draw in your design. I'm just going to be drawing from the sides in toward the center. I might be going to lose too much of the dark in the center, you guys. We got to see how this turns out. I'm not happy with this. I'm losing too much dark in the center. I need to... I'm not happy with it. If you're not happy with it, start over. So my thought is either do nine drops and hope the center spreads more or do 11 drops and do two drops of the final color. I didn't have this problem when I was testing, so it's kind of frustrating. I mean, you can see on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops. But, I mean, you see how much dark center we had. Maybe I just need to try it again. Let's just try it again. Is this a little bit of polish right there? Get out of here. Too late. It's there to stay. <clears throat> I mean, what am I doing differently? <laughs> Might be the water temperature. <clears throat> We're just going to go with it this time. We'll see how it looks. I'll say 10. If it looks like it needs one more, we'll add one more. <clears throat> As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Or solve the problem by not saying how many drops I'm using. Then we'll just use the amount that seems to be appropriate. And maybe that'll be 10 and maybe that'll be 11. Or maybe I should have gone with 9. <laughs> I don't feel like 11 would be productive. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Once your bullseye is complete and has finished spreading out, go ahead. Oh. Beanie! It was a beanie hair! Okay. I don't know if you can even see that with the glare. There's a hair in there. The bullseye was good and there's a hair in there. Okay. This is fine. We'll just we'll just practice. We're not gonna dip, we're just gonna practice. We're gonna get the hair out of there if we can. God damn it. <laughs> Beanie's an asshole moon. Beanie didn't even let me sleep in this morning. Getting into all kind of shit. See, that would have been pretty good if it wasn't for that hair. This is even now, I could, uh... You know what I might do here, you guys. Yeah. There's another hair. Um, so if I do those together and those together, 
what direction would I want this one to go? Hmm, this direction. We're going to dip the thumb in here because this is salvageable. Actually, I don't want to get water all over the napkin because oh. <gasps> this is fine. Oh, it's all over the. <laughs> it's just I'm having so many problems today. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's just wipe this off. <sighs> okay. Dude, I just wiped you off. How is there still polish on you? Ew. <sighs> okay. I believe the tweezers are clean now. I guess I'm glad that didn't happen while I was recording. Um, let's just, okay, that can go there. And I, I wiped off that goober. What happened is, apparently at some point, the tweezers got set down in the goobers of polish that I wiped off on the napkin, and then somehow the goober of polish got him a nail. I wiped it off, and I'm not going to worry about it. It won't show under the water marble anyway, probably. So what we're going to do here, do like that, do like that. And come on, get off my tweezers. No. Okay. It's badass water marble right there. <sighs> okay. So let's try this again. Again, again. What? Fourth time? Is it is a charm maybe? <clears throat> I'm not beyond frustration yet. I just I feel like shit keeps happening. Okay, there's no there's no beanie here on here. This is clean. Right? Clean. He got okay so first he woke me up this morning when I was trying to sleep in just recently one of his hairs made its way into the first good bullseye that I managed to dip or drip <sighs> and I've been there I have been there and <laughs> I'm I'm halfway there right now <laughs> I hope you don't I hope you didn't trim him, trim him too far and I hope you don't regret it and I hope you can find something unfrustrating this stream might not be it unless it just soothes you to see another person having frustrations because i'm having so many problems <laughs> but we're, we're we're about to get a wonderful water marble everything will be worth it we're on our our fourth or possibly fifth take of trying to actually get a section of the water marble recorded for the tutorial <sighs> so Let's try this again. <clears throat> As usual for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup that is dirty, has dirty water in it, and is not a good attempt and needs to be cleaned. <sighs> oh. Hi, Barbie. All right, clean the water. Get out of there. That kind of a goober, that's what was attached on my middle nail a minute ago also. That's why the middle nail is now dirty compared to all the other shiny nails. <clears throat> 
Sometimes, sometimes it's hard and I was feeling uninspired and then one night I got inspired and I just started jotting down ideas and doing little, little sketches and some of them I threw out and some of them I really liked, but I didn't think I could turn into a water marble. And eventually I managed to find seven days worth, seven days worth, 12 days, well actually six days worth that I could turn into another six days worth of water marble. So, but also... If you only want to do seven, then do seven. Because it's your world. Maybe in your world there's only seven days of Christmas. <laughs> As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. I'm going to try and be very aware of where we start to have problems with spreading. So stressful, you guys. <clears throat> Once your bullseye is complete and has finished spreading, go ahead and start drawing in your design. I'm just going to be doing a simple flower, so I'm pulling in from each side toward the center. These lines are doing weird things, you guys. Okay, let's fix these weirdos. Fix that center. Fix this line. <clears throat> Once you've finished drawing your design, you can go ahead and dip your nails. Angle the cup how you'd like. Line your nails up next to each other, and then go ahead and dip. With your orange stick, clean up that excess polish from the surface so that it doesn't stick on top of your design. And then you can go ahead and slowly pull out. And there's the water marble. Woo! Try not to knock over your polish, as I so frequently do. Then you can grab hold of the tape and Kind of free it on the one side, pull it around, and the latex may or may not come off with it. Then go ahead and repeat that for all your nails. Alright. I'm gonna go right into the other couple nails. Because this camera can do that. Because it can record pretty long scenes. I think it's supposedly to got a half an hour uh, recording max time. Okay, I will catch up with chat in just a sec. I just want to at least get this going so that we can have some continuity. Because I'm sure you guys were with me, because I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that near disaster 
<laughs> was on screen <laughs> or in frame I guess I should say oh. but it turned out good I mean the nails are the nails are pretty so that's the last couple drops are so stubborn And honestly, I don't know why tapping the cup helps things spread. I don't. But it does. And part of the reason we were having trouble with the lines before is because it didn't spread out. So we kind of have too much polish in the middle. It would like to be spread out a little bit more. So that's another instance where I clean my orange stick a lot like to get rid of some of that excess polish just be careful uh, like I've mentioned before once you get to the final couple strokes not to leave a hole in the middle if the middle is something that you want to use on your nail if it's not going to be showing doesn't matter that one actually is a lot cleaner Let's, uh, let's do like this. Crap, we've got a bubble there. I didn't see that when I was dipping. Ugh. Might have to do a little bit of polish surgery there. I do feel like the the tape combination is for the most part doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Oh. <laughs> ah, yo, that's a good idea. Hi Coney. A little silicone ice cube tray. It's it's kind of a it's it's a combination Barbie. Like taper on the sides and then simply peel at the cuticle. And it keeps my fingers from sticking together, but it allows me to maintain the flexibility of my and hello sun again. It allows me to maintain the flexibility of my knuckles and go a little bit, you know, rounder around the cuticle. Um Let's do cleanup first and then we'll do polish surgery and then we'll do the other hand. I think that's the plan. <clears throat> Let's zoom, zoom. Oh. Like I almost wish the zoom was on this, this side of the camera instead of this. I mean you guys could see I've got like a very awkward reach to reach it. I guess I could maybe come from the underside like this. That feels super awkward also. That that's even worse. That's more awkward. I guess it's because I mean it's designed. <laughs> it's not designed specifically for this. <clears throat> I'm I'm really pleased with how this turned out though, with the exception of, can you guys see? Right there a little bit a little bit more silvery than we want we're missing a whole swath of the metallic purple I don't think it'll be too too difficult to fix especially with our nice fancy schmancy new small tiny brushes so all right clean up <clears throat> Mm. 
<clears throat> can clean up any larger areas with a Q-tip. Can also use the Q-tip to clean up any marble that happened to get on the underside of your nails. And then go in closely around the edges with our usual small brush dipped in polish remover. Sometimes I say polish remover, sometimes I say acetone. I don't know why. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to peel off it it's, has benefits over both the tape and over the latex um because like tape what i used to have to do is like cut it to get it off because it's all stuck to each other and with the latex sometimes that was difficult to get off too without it like having to cut it or you know doing a weird little little jiggly trick with it around your nail so, yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of weird, but I think I like it. This is the second time I've done it. And it's the first time it's actually made it into a tutorial. The other time was... I think was that maybe the... Uh, the purple and burgundy water marble that I just recently did. And I tested it out on my right hand after I had already recorded the tutorial on my left hand and two I mean simply peel and I think a lot of the barriers are not cheap so using a little piece of tape which is cheap um, helps to extend the life of the simply peel I still definitely prefer simply peel for like uh, just a plain gradient um, because I don't have I don't usually have the same problem with my nails sticking together then. Um, and you don't really have to worry about protecting the underside of your nail when doing a gradient, of course. So it's not, <clears throat> it's not you're not using as much as you'd use for a water marble. Let's get a little bit more of that off of there. It's so shimmery. The shimmery ones are always difficult to clean up. That's probably enough cleanup. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And 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 it's another one where it's not. I mean, obviously, it's it's by the it's inspired by the snowy uh, branches. It's it's wintry without being like oh my god Christmassy. I enjoy Christmas, but I'm not like the parts I enjoy. <laughs> Are not like the super Christmassy parts. Like Cookie Day. I mean, Cookie Day is for Christmas, but I mean, I suppose we technically could have Cookie Day any time of year. But we don't. And I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I probably will not be streaming Cookie Day. But I will be doing... Um, oh. Oh. Uh, I'm just I'm just having a thought and it's a good thought to have now instead of later um this this g7 is a heavy heavy baby <laughs> um I don't know if my standalone tripod is sturdy enough to hold it like it was good enough for my old camera but I don't know if it can handle this one but this one stays at home anyway, so I don't know if I'd want to haul it over to Grandma's house and have it, like, on the table, subject to the flying icing and, and other such things. So I suppose that might be an opportunity to see how the video on my other new camera is. My, uh, I'll call it my toss in my camera, toss in my camera, toss in my purse camera. Because, uh... I, I mean, I love taking pictures when I'm out and about, like the zoo pictures, the state fair pictures. I um, think we're really going to try and make it to the orchid show this year. Maybe I can do pictures there and do like another picture stream. I know I promised pictures of the uh, water lilies and never, never did that stream, but I mean, I still have the pictures. I could combine them. 
Uh, and yes, I did get, an, I'm like, I'm like realizing I did not finish catching up with chat while I'm sitting here just like rambling, but yes, I did get my new camera. Um, oh, BRB. Oh wait, she is back. The new, the brush that I use, Coney, well, I don't know if it would necessarily be available because you're in Brazil, I believe. Um, I get it at Michael's. I don't know if you guys even have Michael's there. It's like an art and craft store. It's a Royal Gold, uh, Royal and laying nickel I like it because it's got this little slightly cushy thing and it's just like square and flat but some people prefer like more of a chiseled edge yeah like Anne <laughs> it's weird when I say something and then I like look at chat and I'm like oh hello mm. Mm. um so yeah, I did get a new camera. My my workhorse that I'm going to be using for my tutorials is a PowerShot G7X Mark II. And then my uh, my throw in my purse camera. It's right here and it doesn't have its battery in because the battery's in the G7 is uh, an SX620HS. And it seems like a pretty nice camera too. It seems more comparable to my old one. The uh the G7 for a, for a little point and shoot camera is like a lead brick. It's so freaking heavy. I'm assuming due to the image sensor, because that was the main thing that seemed to set it apart from the other cameras is its big ass one inch image sensor, which is bigger than most other other like point and shoot kind of cameras. Um. But what I'm what I've seen so far, I really like how it's capturing uh, colors and stuff really, really vibrantly. <clears throat> work, stupid work, stupid adulting. No, um, didn't get a ton of bubbles other than this one that's like showing on my nail, like as far as air bubbles. So let's just do this little bit of polish surgery before we move on. <clears throat> yeah, how dare work. But um, yeah, another note on the cleanup brushes, like there's a lot of the nail art sites that sell like brushes particularly for cleanup. I don't think that's necessary. You just got to find one. The main thing I think, oh, there's tape stuck everywhere. Um. You want one that's not like too floppy. Like you want it to have a, enough stiffness that you can kind of get in on the sides and around the cuticles and not just have it be like a noodle. But you don't want it like hard because I mean, it's like a delicate area of your nail. So it's kind of... <sighs> you see that ding I just put in my nail? Fuck. I'm kind of tempted to just redo these two nails now because they're the, the one with the bubble is right next to the one that I just smeared. Can you even see the smear? I no, I'm do, I'm I can't. I'm mm. can't do it. For anybody that's wondering, this is how Ready for Takeoff works with polish that's not fully dry. Alrighty. Yeah, no, you missed you missed the good peel porn at the beginning of the stream, Coney. We uh, we peeled off the the snowy branches so that we could get to work on this. Could I could do my bad peel porn music again? Chicka 
All right, clean you guys up. Start all over again. Oh, well. You guys will know. People on YouTube will be like, that looks different. <laughs> um, Chile, that's right. I was like on the right continent. <laughs> it's not saying much. Uh, all right. You, okay, <laughs> I'm just still reading. I said earlier that I thought you were in Brazil, but you're from Chile, but you're in America. Nah, we're not confused anymore. Except I won't remember that, and I apologize. <laughs> Certain things I can remember. Certain things I am just a spaz. All right. I'm kind of surprised actually I'm still I'm still thinking about the smeared nail because if I hadn't smeared that nail I mean we were we were definitely gonna have some good polish surgery um I'm kind of surprised how wet that polish still was after cleanup because usually cleanup is enough time to allow the nails to for the most part dry like not like dry dry but dry enough that that smudge I don't feel like shouldn't happen. Well, I mean, it did happen, so apparently I'm wrong. Okay. Where'd the simple peel go? So we can do our hybrid here. And for anybody that's just joining us, like the, the tape, so that my fingers don't stick together because that's always a huge annoyance with simply peel but the simply peel is so that I can bend my fingers if you put tape across the bottom of your nail like by the cuticle and you cover up your knuckle it's so awkward and uncomfortable so I have, there, there's a goober in this bottle. I can feel it. I'm going to need to give it some attention. I think I said that same thing after the gradient, and then I forgot to look at it. Maybe we can look at it right now. Do I have, like, a something I can poke in there? Or maybe I should just concentrate on finishing my manicure. <laughs> Since I just... Yeah, you can send a link. Since I just... Uh, gave myself a whole extra cup of water marble to do by taking off those two nails. I'll be much happier though. And this one, this 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 manicure is likely to get two days. Um, like I mentioned in Discord, I am tentatively planning a stream for Friday evening after I get home from grandma's house. It'll be a testing stream. Cause even for me and even during 12 days of Christmas, it would be pretty dumb to do a manicure at eight o'clock in the evening on Friday and take it off at two o'clock on Saturday when I'm when I'm not in that deep of a time crunch yet. I actually, I actually have time, not a lot of time, but I have time. The tutorial that we recorded yesterday, and we're just, we're waiting for this tutorial. Actually, I should, I should do this. The tutorial that we recorded yesterday will go up on Sunday. This that we're recording right now will go up Monday. Probably we'll do the uh, red and black and gold Christmas tree dry brush thingy excuse me probably Saturday and then that'll go up Tuesday 
anyway, you, you get the idea. We're going to be, we, we have a couple extra days of wiggle room. And one of those days of wiggle room is probably going to be this Friday. One of those days of wiggle room is probably going to be next Friday. The other days of wiggle room, we'll, we'll see if we actually need. Um, cause I, I gotta get the editing and stuff too. We'll, we'll see how this, this evening, maybe I can get a whole bunch of stuff done this evening. If I can get both of these tutorials edited this evening, that would be great. I guess I can put this away. This is one of my new brushes that we did the branches with. Uh, well, from the set of the one I did the branches with. This one is... This one I did not do it. The, the one I did the branches with is a little bit longer than that. So, are we almost dry here? Almost. I think we can get started building. Oop, and I can see there's like residue on the surface. Like it almost looks clean. It's not clean. Don't let it fool you. We'll uh, get these bottles back over here. Now the one thing is, and I'm realizing this again here, <laughs> polishes with tape on your finger are kind of a hassle but polishes with latex on your fingers is kind of a hassle too if I do like this maybe it'll be better yeah I think that'll be better let's uh, clean the surface like yeah. and like I said if you see an amoeba instead of a circle your surface is dirty Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you can deal with it. If you get a big amoeba, you can just pull it to the edges. Um, and, and continue on. But if you get one that doesn't want to move too much out of the center, then just take a minute and clean it off. You'll be much happier with yourself. I need some more acetone out here. Okay. So, we have four more cups to do. So let's let's get good bullseyes so that we can do this. The other reason I would like this manicure to be very nice is because Grandma will get to see this manicure. You guys know Grandma is a harsh critic. <laughs> And a lot of times she doesn't get to see a manicure on my nails because so often I'm doing my nails on Saturday. And when I go to see her on Friday, I don't have a manicure on because I'm, I'm like about to do my nails. So it'll be nice to go over there with a manicure on my nails for her to see. <gasps> whoa, whoa. It's sticking to the tape. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It stuck to the tape again! Is that recoverable? Okay, let's finish the bullseye first. It stuck to the nail I just painted white and it tried to pull up the peel-up base coat because the tape is so damn sticky! <sighs> this idea of tape is becoming less and less brilliant. Hi, Doc. I'm trying to do it. God. I'm having so many problems today. I legit am. Oh, and this is doing weird things. Look at the weird things it's doing. Okay, it's fine. If we get two, we'll dip two. If we only get one, we'll dip our thumb. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not super in love with this. Let's... We're, we're gonna do our thumb, I think. Even for this, like, I'm not... super feeling it well it'll be fine I'm not super worried about the right thumb having a flawless flower pattern on it we'll dip over here there we go 
Whoa, whoa, we lost our goober. Goober, get off the cup. Oh, well, now the goober's on the cup. <sighs> Can you please get off the cup? Because that's just an accident waiting to happen. I mean, ev apparently everything is an accident waiting to happen today. That's decent. So, I, I touched this nail with tape and it pulled up the peel off base coat. I'm, I'm gonna roll with it though. I'm just gonna roll with it. I, I, I don't have time, patience, or inclination to fuck with it. I just don't. <laughs> Hopefully I won't lose that peely early. Sometimes too, the leftover polish will create a little scum and you can, it, it acts just like using a drop of polish to clean off the surface. We still, yeah. Okay, let's do a couple more cups here. Get a couple more good bullseyes. Get a couple good designs, please. And move ahead. Oh, there it is again. Which, it's that little flap right there. I need to just be more careful about how I like wrap the tape around the tips of my fingers if I'm gonna continue using it this way when it's on my right hand that's going to be grabbing bottles of polish or grabbing stems of polish come on spread for me come on little polish open up okay come on here Man, the pro the problems are so real today. They really are. I I can't I lost track of all the problems we had already. Let's just get this. Oh, that's lopsided. It's all right. All right, there. That's excellent. And it's a little bit lopsided, but in this case, that's almost perfect. We'll aim the smaller side of petals, the side over here for my pinky, and the larger side of petals for my ring finger. No, they, they were not all happy accidents today, Doc. They, uh, they, they were horrifying, actually, in some cases. More, more completely tipped over bottles of polish. Uh, failed polish. Well, the polish surgery didn't actually fail. We didn't even actually get to the polish surgery because we had another polish fatality. Ooh, those came out a little bit, a little bit different, and it's hard to see. I, I appreciate with the tape on. So let me take the tape off. <laughs> Aren't there any mods in this chat? <laughs> there's, there's a butt pyramid in my chat. You can see, because I was a little bit off center, the, uh, the ring fingers come out a little bit darker and the pinky has come out a little bit lighter, but I actually, I like it. I don't mind that sort of a little bit of differences between the nails. He knows when you multitask. All right, let's uh, take a quick moment to carefully apply some tape on our left hand on the nails that we're going to be redoing. 
and some simply peel and then that can dry while we're doing our last nails on our right hand. <laughs> <laughs> now children he just misses you moon <laughs> mod's not admissible alright that's gonna get a little bit of simply peel around here Now that can be drying. So we've got two more, two more cups of marbles. And that's how I measure water marbles. And and number of cups just depends on on how many nails you're dipping at a time. <laughs> it's true. Where's Moon? Moon Bandit is Moon kidnapped. That didn't quite make sense when I said it like it made sense in my head. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh, that did finish spreading. Like, sometimes it, it surprises me, because you guys saw, that was amoeba-shaped. But it, it powered through, and it got all the way to the, to the edge. Oh, what else I should do? That nap sounds like a good idea. Like, some yoga also sounds like a good idea. Like, this little sideways lean that I end up doing is really not doing my back any favors as I realized after stream yesterday oh hey Dr. Crotron I forgot to ask you last night are you going to join in on the Hollow Knight rando bingo turning uh huh oops you're not round anymore can you round out again well We'll work with this. I kind of am tempted to join, but I feel like I would be very disappointed in myself. I don't feel like I'm competitive. I have a lot of fun, and we've got another beanie here. Here, I'm trying to get off of here and salvage. Um, I have a lot of fun with the randos and the bingos, but I don't feel like I'm at a point where I'm actually competitive yet. But I think you certainly could be. I think it's coming in January. Some talk about it in the Discord. That Discord is hard to keep up with. It's so big and active. Like, what the heck? That's a really nice one. Now I just got to clean up that center. A little dippy dip there. Okay, that's so nice, in fact. Even though this isn't fully dry here, I think I want this on my on my left. No, I don't. I'm going to let it fully dry. It's so nice, I want it on my left hand. We'll just have to do another equally nice one. Let's, uh-oh, tape stuck to cup. Let's go in. Yeah. Okay. Slowly. What did Dr. Crotron go on lurk mode when I'm asking him questions? I it it's not a girl thing, Jackie. It's a it's a realistic thing. I'm not. <laughs> the world record holder in one one twelve is a girl. Um, and I don't know. Maybe it is just my perception. Hollow Knight seems to have a lot of female runners, but I mean, I'm not deeply in the community of any other speed running game, so I don't I don't know if that's improper perception that it has more more girls running it than perhaps most games. I'm I'm not I'm not stating it as a point of fact, but um yeah, no, it's nothing like that. It's just I mean I I'm not that fast yet. I'm just not. I have a ton of fun with it, 
I think eventually I will uh, I will be where I want to be. But to be competitive um, in that type of a setting, I don't feel like I would be very satisfied with my performance. I, don't, I wonder how long the uh, the registration is open for, though, because, I mean, I'm... I'm constantly improving. Well, not constantly. When when I play, I'm improving. Last time I played, I had a couple little milestone moments. Or was that last time? Maybe it was. Cuz I was actually considering skipping getting the wings in my in my uh speed run because I was able to complete a randomizer and bingo without it. Um but it took me forever. Uh, a couple of the fights are a lot harder without wings. Um, but w- the fact that I was able to pull off the skip, like, kind of shocked me. And it kind of showed how, like Dr. Crotron said, um, you know, speedrunning and just playing in general, it improves skills that you don't even, you're not even using. It improves all of your skills. Um, but some of the skills, of course, I don't know what kind of, which kind of rando, I mean, I'm assuming it would be hard rando, but maybe it would only be easy rando. The the hard rando, uh, requires skills that I literally do not have yet, uh, such as spike skip and fireball skip, which are, are skills that allow you to get to areas of the game, uh, faster than you should be able to get to them. Ooh, we've got a phone ringing. Not for me. Um. But yeah, if it if it's if it's hard seed rando plus bingo, hard seeds requiring you know spike skip, fireball skip, shade skip, which is intentionally killing yourself so that you can go pogo off of your ghost. I wish this would spread just a tad bit more, but I don't think it's going to cooperate. Um, stuff like that. And some of the, some of those just seem like so ridiculously hard, but most of them, I feel like I will eventually be able to learn, but I don't know them yet. They're, they're not on my radar to learn yet. The, The next thing I'm, one of them is the next thing on my radar to learn is fireball skip. Only because the dang mosquito there that is the backup strat is such a pain in my ass. Like, he's such a little asshole. He never wants to go where I'm trying to get him to go so that I can pogo on him. If any of you are like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about Hollow Knight. My favorite game. Um, I'm trying to just clean up the center a little bit. The, the pedals. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Line these in here. Like so. Dip. And and I tease Dr. Crotron, but I realize I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. He doesn't have to, like, stay here all day because it's still pretty early for him. He's probably still doing work things, so he's on a work and lurk. Work and lurks are fine. Study and lurks are fine. Cook and lurks are fine. Pretty much all lurks are fine. Plus, hopefully he'll stream later and then I can just go hassle him in his stream. (laughs) because Dr. Crotron doesn't usually stream on Thursdays but he's real close to a stream achievement Uh. yeah he's worky lurky did you hear my question Dr. Crotron I was wondering if you were going to join in if you were aware of and if you were going to join in on the uh, Hollow Knight rando bingo tournament I think it's going to be in January. I don't I don't know details, but I'm started starting hearing things about it. Okay, so we're done marbling. Let's put the cup of water in a safe location. 
<laughs> away from my clumsy hands. And let's close these bottles of polishes before we knock one over for the 80 millionth time. Yeah, and then Jackie was saying that she believes in me and I appreciate that, but it's it's not a matter of like believing myself. It's like literally a matter of like realistic realistically <laughs> I don't think I could be competitive in that. Maybe one day though. Hopefully I I like the fact that they seem to be doing more community stuff lately, more community bingos, community races and not like actually a tournament. Maybe by the next tournament I would be in a place where I felt like I could represent a little bit. No plans thus far. Time to make plans, Doc. No. No no pressure, but I think that would be really cool. I mean, I, w I would obviously for sure be there to root you on. But I have no idea how, like, tournaments work. Are they like, well, you need to be available for matches during whatever time? Or do you tell them when you're available? Or do you just work out with, like, who your opponent is? Like, when you can both be available I'd like all that stuff like obviously much harder <gasps> I ruined it but I'm not even sure what I ruined I mean I didn't ruin it but I touched it okay so what I was doing was I was being far too cavalier with my cleaning and I kind of was going back and forth like this and then all of a sudden went up off the top of my nail and when I went back it went back and it like broom, broom, over the nail but I think it's okay I should zoom in a little bit more for you guys now that we're not focusing on the cup that's too far yeah this middle nail here it looks a little bit weird but it, I don't see anything where it's like oh well obviously I need to do polish surgery right there I just need to be a little bit more careful here a little bit more mindful of things. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that got caught on camera either because I was being really lackadaisical with that also and I apologize. It's really... I like this one. Like, like, can you see the difference between these two thumbs? How this one, it ends on the lavender ring and on this one, it ends on the white ring. That's the minor differences that your placement of your finger in the cup can make. And, like, sometimes you can get more precise than others. And other times, I mean, you're just going to have differences like this. Um, maybe, okay, let's, we'll start the clean end. Off camera, dang it. Let's, let's try to be more mindful of that as I get a little bit more into deeper cleanup here. Closer. I didn't do very good with the latex on these around the cuticle even the tape placement on my right hand seems kind of wonky in some cases oh can you hear the boofing boof boof Clark's big boy bark I don't know who he's barking at oops let's uh where'd that q-tip go get these undersides again after re-dipping. Um, are these just a little bit right there? A little bit. <clears throat> okay. Clean up, top coat, call it a day. I'm kind of tempted to do some more testing on that uh, red and gold Christmas tree thing, but I think I'll save it until I'm actually doing the design. And maybe a little bit more testing on the, the water marble, too. I'm leaning toward using uh, Ghetto Fabulous. And I had the thought that I was I should have tested more uh, different bullseye options with the water marble because you don't need to just do color 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can do... one two one two one two three one two one two one two three. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. I mean like that kind of stuff um and I was reminded by this by one of my own videos and I was like maybe because those golds are being so dang persnickety I need to just reconsider how how I'm adding them to the bullseye um in order to get something that I'm a little more happy with or 
just accept it as it is and go with one of the super messy designs. But I am uh, I'm mostly pleased with how I think the tree, the, the dry brush tree is going to turn out. I do need to consider a little bit more if I'm going to try and use one of my new nail art brushes or if I do want to stick with dry brushing directly with the bottle brush, which is, I mean, it's a little bit more difficult just by its nature, but was working pretty good in the testing. Oh, I wish I was one of those people that could just like simply peel so neatly on the inside of their cuticle, but I'm not. Every time I try it, it's a disaster. It's alright though, there is something satisfying about the manual cleanup with the brush. <clears throat> oh. oh, I wonder if Dr. Croton is here or gone again. Well, we have other Hollow Knight people here too. Anne, I think, is lurking um they're making some changes i think to the randomizer and possibly to the bingo i saw there was a post and i'm assume it's i'm assuming it's mick with a weird name uh you are hollow Knight people moon even though you don't know what's going on I'm gonna go home now have a safe trip coney um i i liked a couple of ads uh one was flu kermit I think um, there was a thing about not having somebody and something on the same board. I think Grimm may have been removed. Or I'm not sure if this is actually changed yet or is just like in process to be changed. Um, I forget what else. Yeah, which, which one is that, Moon? Which boss is your favorite? Throw out a name here. Show me what you got. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, my favorite Hollow Knight boss. Brad. <laughs> Waiting to see that sweat and chicken, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Plebus <laughs> That would be a perfect name for that that's Zote's last name. Zote Plebus Mr Plebus Please come with us <laughs> Great Grey Prince Plebus <laughs> I'm sorry People who don't know Hollow Knight are like, what? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go fight Great Prince Plebus. <laughs> All this glitter. Little sparkly bastards. Okay. <clears throat> the the nail rage is slightly raising raising in me. You guys probably it's kind of probably interesting and funny to watch. Like me going from being super enthusiastic about a deal an idea to like fighting through the frustration to like at the end where I'm just like, God, please, can this manicure fucking end now? <sighs> you know, maybe I'm just hungry. My tea, is my tea out or does it have one sip left? Mm. One super sweet end of the cup sip. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to wash our hands afterwards. And it's, it's just, it's making it hard to see if I'm actually done with cleanup in the areas where I can clean up. It's like, is this all just still left on my skin? It's like ground into my cuticles. <clears throat> Garth Brooks. <laughs> well, I mean, we already got Mark Hoth talking about Reba McIntyre. Tim McGraw. That actually would be great in bug language. God. That'd be good too. <laughs> Actually, my my attempts probably sounded more like Klingon than the bug language. 
I'm not sure if the bug language even has a name. Is it like hollow nestian? I should know this. Where's Ninja? Where's Ninja with the lore? Oh, Ninja's at work seeing 80 billion patients. Poor Ninja. Let's drop an F in the chat for Ninja <laughs> and his overbooked uh, thing he's doing this week. What the hell is this shit called? Residency? <laughs> a, a, a capital F from Moon, of course. Hmm. That just, when he was saying, what did he say the other day? 63 patients or something? It's like, God, what kind of fucking place is this? I mean, even if he's working like long ass, like what did he say? He's working like 11 hour shifts. That's still like a lot of damn people an hour. Can't, I'm not trying to do math right now. My brain is, my brain is not in a state that's capable of doing math. <laughs> Yeah, rotations. Hey, I had the letter. It started with the same letter, Moon. I was close. It's not my man. <laughs> no, I should have. I should have remembered that because he said he applied for his residency somewhere, or he was gonna apply for his residency somewhere. Just wor words have been particularly hard lately. I think that the more sleepy I am, the, like the more limited my vocabulary gets. It's like, uh, words are hard. I got I got that as an emote from Jordan's channel, where I got a gift sub. <laughs> words are hard. All right. I was just saying before we didn't get very many bubbles. We did get a couple bubbles in this index nail. You see them? Let's carefully. Like I said, you can kind of see what you're doing through the tip of this brush because it's clear. It's flat, it's beveled. Got one here too. Just give them a little press. Get that air out of there so that they don't pop when you top coat. <clears throat> <laughs> alright now we're going to top coat oh that means we need you again camera um can we get yeah there we go <clears throat> actually that's there that's better <clears throat> finally we'll be finishing with the top coat and as usual I'm using sesh feet top coat oh. that, that was intended to be a homer sound it sounded like a growling dog <laughs> mm. Top coat's so good. Although with this, as foily and metallic as this is, I don't feel like it's making as big of a difference as sometimes it does. But it's still, it adds that final glossy awesomeness. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't expect to be this happy with every single 12 Days of Christmas design. Every year, there's at least one design where I think I know exactly what I'm doing and it comes out fucked up. Like, every year. So, we'll see what that is for this year. 
I think my last four days are solid. I think the icicle reciprocal is pretty solid. This this red and gold and black, I'm still not comfortable with. And honestly, the green, I'm still second guessing my choice of design and I don't have any firm idea for that. So the red and the green, the most holiday of the series are actually the problems this year. There we go, you guys. I can still see a little bit of... I might I might do this another top coat just to fully smooth out the bubbles on the index nail and it would make it a little bit easier to peel, I think. Um, so I might do that, but there's the finished manicure and I think this looks bomb as hell. I, I really, really... And it came out really close. I mean, we, we worked a little bit, but like the, the one thing is I maybe could have stepped like a step out because a lot of these don't have that edge of the silver. A lot of them are ending on one of the darker colors. And I kind of did want a little bit more of that snowy white. Because like this ring, there's a ring. Where's my orange stick there's a ring of the white like right here like right next to the dark but it doesn't pop up as white as as I wanted it to or as I expected it to on every nail and that's partly because we were having those problems um with it spreading in the center like compared to here you see how wide the white is on the test we didn't get any bullseyes that spread like that but all, all that said, I'm not mad about it. You, you, even if you test and even if you think you, like I said, you never know with water marbling, the temperature, the time of day, the moon phase, the humidity, all these things, they're different things, but I, I love how this turned out, even if it's not exactly what I intended. <clears throat> so before I turn into too much of a rambler, which I am working on. I feel like I'm always like, oh my God, what an, what an awkward ending to the stream. Like I, I have a level of comfort during stream now, but like when I'm ending stream, all of a sudden I'm like, God, just shut up Colette and, and send these people to something else to watch. So let me see what is going on in Twitch land. What's NASA doing? NASA in Silicon Valley exploring space with the world's largest flying telescope. I, th I think it's pretty cool, by the way, that NASA has a Twitch channel. I'm not sending you guys there, but it's freaking awesome. Jordan's getting drunk and decorating her tree. <laughs> Ooh, Megan's playing something creepy. Um... Pancakes is playing Celeste, but he's, is he back or is he still on break? Yeah, I think this is a cute little, a cute little game. And I don't think I've ever rated Pancakes. So Chocolate Chip Pancakes is somebody that I have uh, done Hollow Knight races with. He's a cool, yeah, nobody dies, yo. <laughs> Keep in mind, no matter what, nobody dies. He, uh, he's a cool streamer, and he's right now playing what I consider to be a pretty cool game. It's called Celeste. Um, I don't have a raid message because I suck. <laughs> Watch that turn into the raid message. But um, I'm going to send you guys over there. Maybe, 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 maybe Hollow Knight stream tonight. Maybe stream tomorrow evening. Otherwise, I hope I will see you guys Saturday. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for hanging out with me.